Yeah, I really like to chill on Sundays. I like Sundays are a big big break for me. I take break from work. I relax. You know, spend my time with my family, with uh, my perfumes, opening new packages, and uh, this week was particularly hectic because I did a lot of exercise, played football for seven days straight with kids, and it was fun. It was fun. Uh, so today is just a day to unwind yourself and go through the packages that I received this week. And yesterday was a, a very memorable, beautiful day because I received some really nice packages. One from a very talented. A perfume artist uh, from Australia. Uh, you've already seen her on my channel, and she sent me some new perfumes and oils and also incenses. And one of the scents, you know, that I was really looking forward to, just blew me away. I mean, it's one of those scents which is just godly divine. And uh, the first sniff of the perfume will really, will really make you so happy and make you so proud of her that that she works with such materials, such pristine materials and it's just fantastic. The other package is from Zakir from Agarwood Assam. There are two oils that I'm going to talk about and then there's this lovely surprise from one of my subscribers, my viewers, my well-wishers who is also a talented artist, a painter who, uh, who displays his uh, paintings at Jahangir Art Gallery at Mumbai and uh, I remember Jahangir Art Gallery going there as a kid and it was a school trip, I remember. And I watched a lovely movie yesterday, a film where they show this wild, wild west. I mean, it's, it's a dark comedy kind of thing, but it was really fantastic. I'm just halfway through. And uh, yes, it was a lovely Saturday night. And I'll just open up the packages now and discuss about these fragrances and what I do in general with perfumes or my, or my fragrances on Sundays. So guys, this is not a fragrance review, just a peek into one of my uh, free days, one of my, my chilled out days and I hope you enjoy this video. So guys, these are the things that I got. This one is a lovely package from Assam Wood, which is Agarwood Assam. Uh, they have a lovely box this time and I really like the velvety sort of texture on the inside. We have two oils here and obviously I did not pay for these, these are just Diwali gifts. So one of the oils here is a lovely uh, Oud from Zakir, this one is known as Maitai, Maiti, Maiti I think yes, the name is Maiti. So Maiti is one of the oils which I had tested long back, I remember the smell of it and uh, it is one of those Ouds which really touches you. It's, it's a fantastic earthy sort of oil which has got a lovely mineralic top note which is very unique. It's almost like earthy, muddy and um, uh, like baked clay. It, it's got the smell of clay, fresh earth and um, the dry down of it becomes spicy, intensely spicy. A lot of, imagine a lot of peppers, some tamarind chutney uh, uh, which we call imli chutney here. And in the dry down, you get those lovely sweet berries and that beautiful soft sweet incense of Oud, which is the most fantastic phase. You know, the transitions are absolutely mind blowing. I've had the pleasure of using, testing this oil. Uh, I got a small sample from him when I met him initially online, of course. So we, he sent me some small samples of his Ouds and this was one of the oils that really struck me hard. And here we are after two years and he sends me a full bottle of it. So really lucky to have it in my collection because this is a phenomenal Oud achievement in my opinion. Probably one of the best Hindi Ouds that anyone has ever produced. This is a fabulous achievement in my opinion and my God, within two years, this stuff has changed so much. The dry down has become so lovely. I mean, it's really reminiscent of his previous legendary oils like Adam Singh and all that. The other one I haven't tested yet because I was going through the stuff from Dr. Tion Reinthal. So this one is Zafrani Gulab. Many of the people asked me for a review of this. So I had really not put my nose onto it. So Zach, uh, Zach uh, you know, graciously sent this bottle to me uh, so that I could give it a sniff and, you know, give my opinion or whatever. So I'm going to test this later and tell you. Uh, let's do one thing. I'll just open it up and give it a sniff right from the cap, which is not the ideal way, but at least you get an idea of what to expect, right? 
Wow, this is intensely saffronic. <laughs> That's something which comes to mind. And of course, Zafrani Gulab means uh, uh, saffron and roses. So, Zafran is the Arabic word for uh, 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 saffron or uh, as what we call Kesar in India. The Gulab, of course, is the rose. So it's a beautiful combination, very rich, very natural, and there's also some musky element in it. I don't know whether it's oud or musk right, right from the cap. It just felt really, really lovely. I, I think this is a fabulous blend. This is a lovely package from Dr. Ryanthal from Australia. She is a natural perfumer and she knows how to do stuff because she also has the habit of making her own materials, distill, distilling her stuff. And uh, uh, she does all these floral extracts which are really unique and special. So this is a bunch of oils. Look how beautiful, rustic this looks. And uh, that's what I love about her. I mean, you find this with most of the indie artists. You find this a personal touch, you know. It's it's a non-commercial kind of venture. But many a times, many, many a times I've landed, landed, uh, you know, in, in, in a tough situation because those scents do not really smell good or they, they're not actually perfumes that you you would wear outside, they become too abstract or too artsy, but that's not a problem with uh, most of the creations from uh, Dr. Ranthal. Of course, some are very artsy, some are very vintage, typical European sort of uh, soapy fragrances, soapy floral fragrances, which are not actually my uh, up to my liking, but I wouldn't say uh, that, uh, you know, my views are absolute. It's, it's completely subjective. Some people may enjoy that. I'm not really a big fan of all those uh, old, you know, kind of typical soapy aldehyde florals, even though she does not use synthetics at all. She does not at all use synthetics in her perfumes, which I think is a great achievement. Anyway, we have lovely oils here, a set of six oils, and I, I will have uh, a wonderful time sniffing them. This one says Chopin. I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's Chopin. So a bunch of six oils. I really have no idea what these are. I'm going to test them over a period of a week, 10 days, a month. I don't know. I have so much to test already. And then look at that beautiful pouch. So Indian, so ethnic and so lovely. So we have one chai and mokai, mokaya here. Look at the color of these oils. Usually, these colors are only found with natural oils. Unless, of course, you add some pigments to a synthetic perfume. You know, perfumers can add synthetics and change the color of the perfume. Color affects our judgment. When you're looking at a perfume, the color automatically affects our judgment. You know, we associate, at least for my, my myself, I can say, if it's a dark brown color, if it's a dark... Um, uh, um, you know, almost like a dark blackish sort of color. It, automat it automatically makes me think that it's a natural perfume. It, it's, it may be woody, musky. If it's slightly greenish, I would think it's probably a more coniferous, spiny sort of scent, uh, more temperate in nature. If, if it's just white, just transparent, uh, transparent, not white. If it's transparent, it makes me think of a synthetic perfume. So basically some florals, maybe a touch of a synthetic white musk. If it's yellowish, I start thinking about rose. If it's slightly reddish or burgundy in color, I automatic, automatically think of amber. So colors, colors also affect. I mean, it's just uh, all the senses engaged. That's how we judge things, right? So that's, that's one thing that I really uh, wanted to mention. There's Rococo and uh, there's Ritual. Uh, Sacred is one of my favorite perfumes from the house. A lovely, soft, gentle, woodsy, ambery sort of perfume, spicy perfume. It's it's just fantastic. Such a lovely natural perfume. You feel great wearing that fragrance and uh, it, it actually affects your mood. So it's very therapeutic in nature. Most of the oils are therapeutic. I haven't tested these, but they smell absolutely fantastic. The floral absolutes that she uses are top notch. Uh, even the oriental materials that she uses. I think she has a nose. She has a great gift for uh, judging materials because 
I have tested a variety of her oils, but her orientals stand out and her florientals stand out even better. Let me show you the perfume that I'm obsessing with, you know, obsess obsessing with this one. This is how it came and it's her latest perfume. I just, I just told her, I, I just told her once in a candid conversation that I love the notes of Nerali. I love sniffing the orange blossom flower. In fact, I have trees uh, of it and jasmine and all that stuff in my fragrance garden uh, where I have a lot of aromatic plants and trees. Arjuna, this fragrance. Arjun was basically uh, a popular Hindu warrior, a Hindu king who fought for justice, who fought for uh, protecting the dharma and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the characters from the epic Mahabharata. All right. So the name would make you think it's a very strong, masculine, woodsy, musky kind of perfume, but it's not. It's just complete opposite and probably she has, she's a very intelligent lady, by the way, very intellectual, very smart. She's, she, um, she has a great knowledge of things, very philosophical. So I love chatting with her. We've had long chats and none of that is going to affect these reviews or these videos because I'm very straight up with her and she, and I love, uh, the attitude, this attitude with the artists that I've found. You know, they are, they are really not bothered about reviews or what, um, you know, if I had to say something positive about their perfume, they want honest opinions and I'm sharing honest opinion here. This blew me away because, you know, my love, those who follow me, they know how I love my floral perfumes, especially white floral perfumes, even though I love my masculine sheepra kind of scents, musky sheepras, um, deer musk based scents and uh, all these animalic scents that I wear and uh, oud. Sandalwood, nobody would think that I'd love uh, flood perfume, but I absolutely adore them. Arjuna just takes, just takes me to a beautiful fragrant garden in spring and everything, uh, you know, the, the smell of garden, you can smell the beautiful Parijat flowers or uh, the night blooming jasmine with the orange stem. It's the other variety. You've got a lovely, uh, uh, night, uh, uh, sorry, tube rose somewhere nearby, and uh, you've got uh, a huge, a huge tree of these orange blossom uh, flowers, and just imagine the whole mix of the scents in air. And it's springtime; it's the, the air is slightly crisp. It's not too moist or hot, and this man, this scent will really. Put you in a dreamy state it's just fabulous i mean the natural tones of these flowers have been so very well preserved in this scent it's a natural scent and she she has actually done this herself the whole floral extract thing she has a huge huge uh, uh, orange blossom tree narrowly tree uh, at her residence so she she has this this material with her and it smells absolutely divine there's also some green tea here and I love this note of green tea, the actual note of green tea. And this perfume oozes class. It is so feminine. It is so delicate. It is so, uh, so natural in tone. It's just, I mean, this is the best, the best floral scent on this planet. There is no rose. There is no gardenia. There is no ylang ylang. There is no heliotrope. This is a white floral bouquet from heaven. This is just fabulous. I mean, I've got Castle Forbes narrowly nowhere near this. It's very nice. It's the most beautiful from the commercial market, maybe. But this, this is just fabulous. I mean, people in the Gulf, they would absolutely fall in love with this scent. People in the Indian subcontinent, those who are used to these we have these flowers almost every home every old home will have these flowers we are not used to living in apartments until unless it's it's a metro city because most of india lives in their own houses so every house will have um, some vegetables growing every house will have flowers beautiful fragrant uh, flowers especially night blooming jasmine and all that stuff 
roses, everyone loves to do a little bit of gardening. So this smell is so natural, so nostalgic, it just, it's fabulous and it is expensive. You smell it and you know this has come from a source which is, which, which is truly attached emotionally to perfumes, to scents, especially those which are natural. So hats off to Dr. Tion Ryanthal for uh, making such a beautiful scent. This is absolutely glorious. I mean, if Castle Forbes was 90 out of 10, this is 200 out of 10. That's how beautiful this is. Yes, I, I may uh, seem overjoyed, over enthusiastic about this fragrance, but guys, it's like uh, sniffing the best mice or sandalwood. It's like sniffing the best um, pizza in the world. It's like sniffing the best um, Javanese coffee. It's like sniffing the best green tea. Uh, you know, Sencha green tea or Nilgiri green tea. It's like the best Darjeeling tea aroma. So the best of best. So you've got to pay a price for it. But guys, it smells absolutely fabulous. I urge all of you to sample Arjuna, if you love floral fragrances, it's absolutely gorgeous. Many men who do not enjoy or are not confident enough to pull off these floral scents might find it too feminine, but the women are going to fall in love with it because it's just a glorious fragrance and it smells so nice. I already got a compliment from my wife last night when I wore this fragrance. So usually she is turned off by my oriental fragrances that I wear. All right, I just gave this sniff from the cap. I sniff some lovely sweet aromas, something plasticky like iris, maybe a little bit of that ylang ylang, spicy and sandalwood, lovely, prana. I'll, I'll go through these fragrances and do a video about it later, of course. These are just gorgeous. She also sent me some incenses. Now, what a surprise. See, talent is everywhere. It's not like talent has to be limited to a certain genre. You can learn multiple things. You can do multiple things in your life. Like I do, you don't need time. People who say there is no time are just making excuses, guy. guys. I mean, just you can do whatever you want. The, the possibilities are just limitless. You just have to explore and push yourself to the edge and you'll be surprised at how your body reacts, how your mind reacts. And uh, look at this. Beautiful handmade incenses. I mean, this comes from a person, definitely comes from a person who truly understands the nature of these things. This is so traditional in nature. Look at the coarse granulation. Look at the coarse texture. It's delicate. It's not charcoal laden. It smells beautiful. Without even burning, you can smell sandalwood. You can smell lovely spices. And there's a very expensive Oud Vietnamese agarwood powder in this. So I would never expect an Australian to make sense like this, to be honest, guys. But here we have what a lovely surprise from her. And I actually lit up one last night, half of it in my chamber after my work. And I was very tired. And immediately the, the smell of natural incenses just takes you places. It's not... It's not uh, perfumey, it's not spicy in your face, um, it's not going to irritate you, it's not going to burn your nostrils, challenge your olfaction. It's just simple, ethereal, it's just like a dip, you know, a deep dive into nature and this is truly that. Very uplifting, very meditative and that's what uh, these incenses are for and the traditional use of incense is definitely for meditative purposes. Now. Talking about incenses, I got a lovely package from one of my subscribers, a very talented artist, as I mentioned before. Here I have three lovely, lovely incenses. This one is called Shiv Ranjani. Agarbatti, Agarbatti is incense stick. Agar, the word comes from Ood, Agarwood, of course, export quality from the house of bakers. These are natural, slightly expensive, 40 grams for 86 rupees, which is uh, probably a dollar and more and I think there are about 10 or 20 sticks in here then we've got some loose uh, agarbattis this one is known as Madhipal and this one is 100% natural that's what Mr. Anand said my my dear friend my subscriber thank you so much I'm deeply touched by your uh, 
gesture there's karpuram karpuram uh, is the sanskrit word for camphor if i'm not wrong and probably it's got a lovely note of camphor incense in the look at one of these sticks look at that coarse texture this is how natural hand rolled incense should look like it shouldn't be black it shouldn't be uh, smelling off it's got to be earthy smoky and this is the happy diwali card and inside we have a lovely postcard from him thank you so much this cheered me up so 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 well my weekends he just made my week weekend mr anand thank you so much and a pamphlet for his uh, artwork that he's displaying at jahangir art gallery uh, and this is this is how he works with water colors have a look at that beautiful look at this one the water the the texture of water look at the changing colors and you know look at how beautifully he's captured the colors here the raw colors the early uh, uh muddy tones of those old buildings and there are some intense uh anatomical pictures i would say being a doctor these are portraits beautiful portraits so a very liberated man a very smart intelligent man who loves oud who loves his vintage fragrances and of course um really wishes well for me he loves my videos so thank you so much anand bhai this is very kind of you and this is his picture thank you so much anand bhai so guys this is what i'm going to do today i'm going to explore these fragrances i'm going to light up some of these incenses in fact i did light up one of these mardipal ones i don't know what this stands for but this was actually very natural in tone i mean i have a hyper sensitive nose this is one fact that i'm sharing today which probably most of you don't know i don't like wearing a lot of perfume i don't like wearing a lot of synthetic perfume because it 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 kind of uh, initiates an allergic reaction in me so i start choking i develop a lot of phlegm a lot of mucus comes out and i feel like my chest is uh, getting heavy and congested so i don't wear sharp fragrances that's the reason why i stick to natural fragrances you know when you have colder weathers when there or uh, probably the spring time and there are a lot of uh, these pollen in the air it kind of becomes challenging for me however going through these natural scents i have no problem i can keep on sniffing you know keep on sniffing them from hours for hours and hours altogether and i will have no problems whatsoever that's why i love these scents and these are um, some of my exploits that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you had fun today and uh, i'll try and review all these products because these are some very high class products some complex product so i'm going to need some time to actually uh, know them to get to know them and share my views with all of you if that's important to you so guys thank you and have a great weekend spend time with your family challenge yourself don't set goals for monday don't worry about monday make sunday your most beautiful day of the week eat well sleep well and give your body adequate time to rest because that also helps uh, in recovery of your senses drink drink some honey with green tea eat healthy sleep well and yes see you again with another fragrance review until then take care bye bye